We are standing in front of the Russian roulette unsafe sex. And this is what we use in school to let kids realize that it's worse than Russian roulette. And you, there are 31 sexually transmitted diseases that you can get without knowing. So this is again part of our teaching, making teaching interesting, fun, trying to make a school more like a theme park than a, a hospital. And we have a school called the Bamboo School, and I think Sir Richard Branson would absolutely love to come here. It's a school to create a new generation of creative people, innovative people, where children, primary school, secondary school students, run the school. They operate the school, they do all the buying, they admit the incoming students, they interview and select teachers, they have to do businesses to earn an income and for the future, and they do pay their school fees in community service, 400 hours of community service, parents also 400 hours, and 400 trees for them and 400 trees for students. So in other words, when, the time, when they finish school, they will have uh, planted 4,800 trees. If we did this right around the world, we'd have a lot, quite a jungle. And the students pay their community service by going out to help teach in other schools, to help elderly people, to cook food and visit hospitals where there are people without visitors. So empathy is a very, very important thing. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to create a new generation of people who have empathy, who, are sh who share, who are honest, and who accept uh, all differences and changes, uh, gender, gender equality and every other form of uh, equality and they must not give up. They must have grit and must be social innovators and also change makers. So this is the school right after the heart of Sir Richard Branson. I'd be delighted and honored if you would be willing to visit us. And um, I'm here because I'm such a huge fan, Sir Richard Branson, of just the way that you have run your companies and the way that you think outside the box because Kun Mishai has been um, a mentor and friend um, for 20 years now and I've learned so much from his style of thinking outside of the box and I know that that's your style too and I read a recent piece that you wrote on uh, how your dyslexia actually helped, helped you to be more creative and how we need to celebrate those kinds why, of diversity and why stuff. Why he is close to my heart also, my uh, nephew is somewhat dyslexic. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, and uh, also the Are You Okay campaign that you just launched in um, uh, the Virgin Australia um, flights, uh, making sure that uh, people ask uh, if people are okay like it's just so beautiful I posted this on LinkedIn the other day but um, it's you know to, to bring out the human element of things and, and make think, sure that people I think this are would be enough otherwise Richard Branson would fall asleep in front of the TV thank you possibly. very much thank you so much but anyway I hope that you can come and visit this school because it's amazing thank, thank you care.